Welcome everyone. Good morning. And Good morning. Uh, I'm always so happy to see everyone on this screen. <laughs> everyone here today has been here before. So welcome. Um I'm gonna come and go. You'll have to sit over here. You'll have to sit. For those, of, for those of you who also join on Tuesday in the loss, losing, and loosening group, um, just to say we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about the Equinox because it will actually be right at Equinox where we meet when we're meeting on Tuesday for, for that group. But because today is approaching Equinox, um, and in Jewish tradition, we're also approaching the new year, which starts tonight at sundown. Um, this just feels like a very potent time to me. This idea that we're going to have a moment this week of balance, <laughs> where the earth for that moment of equinox is in balance, equal day, equal night, equal darkness, equal light. and can we possibly <laughs> like allow ourselves to feel a moment of balance this week? And, um, and to me, it's also auspicious that the equinox is happening in the midst of the Jewish I holy days. Which, so just to say this, this time from tonight in the Jewish holidays until Yom Kippur, which is the week from Monday, um, it's called the they're called the days of awe, which I love. Just the idea of the days of awe, and the days of awe are really about looking inside and turning inward and looking at where in the last year we may have missed the mark what things we need to forgive ourselves for, and what what seeds we want to plant to go forward, to be re-inscribed in the Book of Life. And it just feels especially potent this year because of how much has gone on in the world that needs healing and needs forgiveness. So as we open up the circle today with just going around as always and just reminding each other our names and where we are in the world. Um, just kind of a word or two, like, what, what does equinox mean to you? How, how do you relate to this change of season? Gail, do you have a word for today about equinox? Ah, just uh, the change of seasons, and I look forward to having that cool, crisp fall air soon, hopefully. Yeah. I think my word, my word for today and Equinox is, is balance, trying for balance. Oh, all right. I'm going to read this poem that is a little bit of a long poem, but I just, I love this poem. Um, by Marge Piercy called The Seven of Pentacles. Under a sky the color of pea soup, she is looking at her work growing away there actively, thickly like grapevines or pole beans, as things grow in the real world slowly enough. If you tend them properly, if you mulch, if you water, if you provide birds that eat insects, a home and winter food, if the sun shines and you pick off caterpillars, if the praying mantis comes and the ladybugs and the bees, then the plants flourish, but at their own internal clock. 
Connections are made slowly. Sometimes they grow underground. You cannot tell always by looking what is happening. More than half the tree is spread out in the soil under your feet. Penetrate quietly as the earthworm that blows no trumpet. Fight persistently as the creeper that brings down the tree. Spread like the squash plant that overruns the garden. Gnaw in the dark and use the sun to make sugar. Weave real connections. Create real nodes. Build real houses. Live a life you can endure. Make love that is loving. Keep tangling and interweaving and taking more in. A thicket and bramble wilderness to the outside, but to us interconnected with rabbit runs and burrows and lairs. Live as if you liked yourself and it may happen. Reach out, keep reaching out, keep bringing in. This is how we are going to live for a long time. Not always, for every gardener knows that after the digging, after the planting, after the long season of tending and growth, the harvest comes. What word or concept jumps out at you? Live as if you liked yourself. Well, and it may happen. <laughs> yeah. Right. No, oh, the life you can endure. Sun to make sugar. Mm. Connections uh -huh. are made slowly. Not in the dark and use the sun to make sugar. Every gardener knows. Weave real connections. Earthworm that blows no trumpet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> More than half the tree is spread out in the soil under your feet. Please. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Uh, I, I like the first line too. Sky, the color of pea soup. It's so unusual and makes you think of sludge and then you understand as you read through it. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like we get to be in that garden. So let's use as the prompt. Live as if you liked yourself or else this is how we are going to live. And we will write for five minutes. So go ahead and mute yourselves while you're writing. We'll start. Would someone like to read? I 
going to read this other poem by John Fox, who I've read some of his work before. He was the person I studied with learning poetic medicine techniques. This is called What Understanding Won't Help, or A Poem About Change. Does the dusk light that rests for only moments upon the leaves of a Japanese maple awaken your heart like it does mine? And by awaken, I might mean this. If loneliness was at least willing to not give in to despair because loss felt like such a sure thing. Could you stand there at the edge with me, aware of and meeting these small realities of our day, like a treasure that will not last or give us everything we want, but still deserve attention? Just like the leaf that catches last light is lifted up to our sight by a shadow that silently cares for it and everything underneath that can't be said. Just like the leaf that catches last light is lifted up to our sight by a shadow that silently cares for it and everything underneath that can't be said. Is there a word that jumps out at you? Everything underneath that can't be said. Because loss felt like such a sure thing. Could you stand there at that edge with me? Yeah. A shadow that silently cared for it. Mm -hmm. Like a treasure we look for. Mm. So let's use the prompt of Could you stand there at the edge with me? And we'll write for three or four minutes. Could you stand there at the edge with me? Who would like to start? From sea to shining sea, I traveled to find everything I had dreamed of and all that I had never imagined. Can you stand at the edge with me? looking out to a dark horizon where the light descends instead of rises? Can we stand on this precipice unafraid of falling? Can you read it again, please, Red Wing? From sea to shining sea, I traveled to find everything I had dreamed of and all that I had never imagined. Can you stand at the edge with me, 
looking out to a dark horizon where the light descends instead of rising. Can we stand at this precipice unafraid of falling? Where the, where light, the light descends, descends instead of rising. rising. Can we stand at the precipice unafraid of falling? Mm -hmm. Same. I traveled to find everything I dreamed of and all that I'd never imagined. The dark horizon. Thank you. Closing with these words of Hafiz that I feel all the time with all of you. I wish I could show you when you are lonely or in the darkness, mm -hmm. the astonishing light of your own being. I wish I could show you when you are lonely or in the darkness, the astonishing light of your own being. Thank you for sharing your astonishing lights of all of your beings with me, with all of us. Praying for this moment of balance, light and dark this week for each and every one of us, a moment of balance and maybe many moments for this planet that we live on.